All right, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are ready for your final presentation. But why the long faces? I'm sure you all will do fine. Anyway, Michael, your team is going out first. Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah. About that. What's wrong? Well, we just can't seem to find my dad. I'm sure it's fine. It's just we sort of had a falling out while we were working on the presentation and uh, just haven't seen him since. Right, I understand, but you guys will still need to present with or without him, okay? Anyway, I think it's time for you guys to present, so all the best, good luck. I'm sure all of you will do fine and I'll see you guys after presentation, okay? On to our topic regarding the importance of technology in the modern world, we will begin with how the implementation of QR codes have been crucial to our society. Uh, psst, so we uh, try looking at the teachers when you're presenting. Oh, um, if you guys don't mind, could you please move forward in front of me? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Look at them from time to time, right? Eye contact is very important. Mm, okay, I guess I could try that. So, through implementing QR codes, we are able to... And that is why we believe that this is extremely important. And that's all I have to say for my part of the presentation. Now, I would like to pass on the time to one of my groupmates. Thank you, Mr. But before that, I would like to give her an introduction. She is an amazing classmate that I had the pleasure of working with on this project. Sally, first of her name, the undisturbed queen of night school, the breaker of hearts, and mother of Shirley. So for today's presentation, I will be continuing on from Mr. Dan's point to further elaborate how we can stay happy in life. But before I begin, I would like to check if everyone in this room can hear me. I'll be talking about... Kevin, oh, oh. what are you doing here? What did you do? Where's it now? I don't know, I thought it was with you. Kevin, what did you... How do I fix this? Give me that! It's not, it's not working, Kevin! Wait, 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 wait. Hurry up, I don't want to oh, blow the tension! That's a snake, Kevin! <laughs> oh, Kevin! <laughs> what about that? It's the same snake! <laughs> ah, screw it! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> and that's all I have to say. Thank you! Oh, it worked! Oh, what a wonderful speech! So today for my part, I'm going to talk about friendship. Now friend, very important. Good example is my friendship with Jess and Annabelle. Everything is very smooth. Just like my home group bubble tea, selling at my restaurant. My please, let's promote your restaurant later, all right? Oh, okay, sorry. sorry. As my was saying, not all the friendship are good. Some bad, especially without good communication. Sometimes you know life, friend. But what you would like is my award winning fur for limited order only. Buy one, get one free. Mine, just follow the script. Yeah, mine follow my script. See? What? That's not the script. Oh, yeah? This is my new menu with the 600 dishes and the QR code. Thank you, Dan. So, for today, I'll be discussing the topic of... Wait, why is that person looking at me funny? Did I say something wrong? I must be the you. Is he trying to tell me something? Is it like Morse code or something? Wait, why are they laughing? Was it something I said? You know what? It must have been something I said. That's not very nice. And this guy, what's he trying to do here? Eating during my presentation? Wait, why is he eating here? Why was he staring at me? Do I have something on my face? So today our presentation is about the meaning of friendship. Now when I started this program, to be honest, I hated it. I hated dragging myself out of the house every night to go to some stupid school. But that was before I met these guys. They made every moment I was there so much more enjoyable. And even though I don't have my Amex Black Card or my Doggy Spa Salon, what I do have are the everlasting friendships that I forged throughout the night school program. And that is something that money cannot buy. 
And it is because of that, I'm standing here today proudly to finish this journey. True friends aren't the ones who make your problems disappear. They're the ones who don't disappear even when you have problems. Well said. Alright, it's almost our turn to go up. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta have to change into my outfit. I mean, yes. Oops. Okay. Wait, you do realize you're not wearing any pants, right? Yeah. You told me smart casual, right? Smart casual. Smart casual. So, for my team's presentation today, we will be talking about... Oh, hi Debbie dear! How are you? How was school today? Hi mom! Yes, everything's okay. I managed to complete all my homework in school today. Oh, that's great honey! Mommy is so proud of you! OMG! Is your friend okay? You know the one who looks like she wants to fight everyone? Vicky? Yeah, I guess it's a bit awkward but I'm sure things will be fine by now. How's you and Vicky's dad? Ooh, everything's dandy. See, he even asked me out to... Look, can we just start with the presentation? Yes, yes, carry on. Don't let me interrupt. And hence, with that, concludes my presentation. Now, we'll be opening up the floor to some questions. Anybody has... Yes, 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 yes. I do have a couple of questions. Yes, uh, Subing? That's Madam Subing to you. Now, in your presentation, you mentioned that mistakes will inevitably be made in a relationship. And it's up to both parties to try fixing it. Yes. Well, if the mistake is that... Your significant other decides to leave you and your child for China in order to live the rest of his life with his mistress. Do you think that can be forgiven? Okay, well, that seems rather specific. No, <laughs> of course not. Why? Guilty? To answer your question, I believe that... No, I don't think your significant other should be forgiven. I knew it! Wait, what? Y you don't think so? Yeah. I mean, why should this guy be forgiven? He made a huge mistake. He neglected his family because he was foolish and thought he could do better. And he was wrong. His family suffered because of it. So no, I don't think this guy deserves forgiveness. But I believe that people can change. And I know it sounds super cliche, but I believe that this guy regrets everything he has done in the past and will do anything to go back in time to prevent it from happening, to rebuild a bond with his daughter and try his best to fix the already irreparable damage he has caused. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's what your significant other would have said hypothetically, right? <laughs> Where's Dad? We have to go up right now. I don't know, but I'm sure he'll show up, right? I mean, he always does. Yeah, but what if this time he doesn't? It's not even about the presentation anymore. What if we don't see him again? I'm just so worried. Don't worry, okay? Grandpa isn't the type to just ghost us. I'm sure he'll be here. I promise. Look, I've learned a couple of ways to relax. Really? From where? TikTok. It's a reliable source. Just breathe faster, you know, it gets more oxygen to the brain, and you'll make you feel less stressed. Look, Dad, we got this, all right? I believe in us. Thanks, Cam. Let's do this. Okay. No, like we practiced. Never mind, let's go. Now, I really wish Grandpa was here today to finish this presentation together. It would mean the world to me. And if he was here, he would have said something like this. That yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today Day is a gift. gift. And that's why it's called the present. Master Ugwe! Grandpa, you came!
That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, we are very impressed with the night school program. It has been an absolute success. Yes, I hate to say this, Shirley, but well done. Thanks. So, does that mean I get a pay raise? A raise? Yeah. I don't think that was ever on the table. But hey, wasn't it always about the fulfillment and not about the money? <laughs> I should have just kept my mouth shut. What's that? What's what? Did I say something? Did you say something? You know, it's fine. I'll just make my way up. Cool. did so well. It was a success. But then where's my pay raise? Miss Shirley, Miss Shirley, wait, wait. Wait, you guys haven't left? Miss Shirley, before we leave, we wanted to give you something to thank you for everything you've done for us. It's from everyone. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Miss Shirley, before I entered night school, I wasn't even sure why I needed to be here. But I don't regret it a single bit. Yes, Miss Shirley, we're going to miss you so much. And don't forget about my invitation for those spin classes. And yes, don't forget to visit my restaurant to get the free supply of tap water. <laughs> okay, come on in, guys, come on. As a teacher, there's always a feeling of wonder when meeting people from all walks of life. Every student is different. But no matter how old you are, there's always something to learn. And even though the night school has ended, their journey has just begun. And if you're wondering how they're doing... Well, Zoe has overcome her fears of being nervous and is now more confident in herself. My mum and I are spending more precious time together. For Chelsea, she actually got together with James for a week. <laughs> Michael, Robert and Cameron started having more family bonding activities together. Jess finally got the promotion she needed. And Jack still has to go home to his wife. Mai has truly understood the importance of friendship and has inspired people to be selfless. As for Annabelle, she has decided to continue her education. And where you ask? <laughs> There's a story for another day. Lastly, for Mr. Den, the school board was so impressed with his performance that they decided to offer him role as the head of curriculum planning. Hi, Mr. Den. So, what do you say? I'm not going to do it. Are you sure about this? Chances like this don't come easy. The best thing about my job is that I get to watch these kids grow up to be strong, independent adults. And nothing can ever take that away from me. That is until they graduate, of course. So yeah, thanks, Ragna. See you in PE. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs>